fellow Minecraft fans and fellow Christians. And hopefully this video will be the cheesiest one I ever have. If I have any cheesy ones at all. This is Chalice, Chalice which was once known as Pelognis. In the old days as Pelognis, it used to be much, well, plainer. The whole concept behind this plant is cheese. Just plain cheese. And not my favorite plant if you haven't already guessed. It's got cheesy cows somewhere in both versions, but anyway. Although, really, this place doesn't seem all that useful to me. Sure, if you want a sort of yellow, maybe a gold color kind of place, but really, I don't see much of a place. Well, use for this, but anyway. The plant has a sort of gold, I'm sorry, red material, or well, metal, and you can make armor and tools of that, but other than that, I can't think of anything. But anyway, the dungeon is a distance over that way, so let's just take a scenic route and see what's like for those that care more than me. Cheese floater, not supposed to be a little stronger than blaze, and if its projectiles hit you, it can possibly create some more smaller cheese slimes. If I'm in survival mode, that is, but anyway. Oh, and some cheesy water, but anyway. Yeah, might as well speed things up a little bit. For some reason, it seems laggy to me more than most other plants, but anyway. It, seeing out mountains like this is sort of normal for this place, but anyway. Even as cheesy as stone, but anyway. No, I suppose I should go on down there. Uh, let me change game mode. Now let's press on forward. Oh, it would help if I remembered night vision, wouldn't it? Oh well, might as well continue. I know I've gotten hostile mode, well, hard mode, sorry, I came out wrong. But for some reason, the spires seem rather slow. And I say this before I see a creeper. Yeah, that's normal for them to have redstone as well as gunpowder and other such things. Well, even possibly blaze rods. Well, I don't know why. Huh, they actually spawn ahead of time for a change. Ah. Haven't seen anything serious. Now I destroyed the spires ahead of time so I could talk a little bit more of the boss. Now the boss can only be hurt by a bow and arrows. And the boss here is the same as the old one. On Diona it used to be just another slightly harder evolved creeper, but anyway. And here, sort of like that f cheese floor thing we saw before, it, its projectiles can create little slimes, which can easily overrun you if you don't have reinforcements or something like that. Well, let's continue. Huh. Let's try to deflect it. Oh, I can't deflect the projectiles. It always seemed rather easy to hit. Eh, dead burnt. Well, 
I've been having this good for a while. Uh, give me a moment, if you will. It would seem that any time I get knocked out from the child bosses, or child bosses chambers, he can't respawn unless I reload the world. You know, I just save, quit, and then come back. And if this works, it, well, should be a simpler. Maybe if I just stay near a corner or something. Or just away from the entrances. This thing in one half of the room should be okay, I guess. Overwhelmed by slimes by this point. Huh. Most people think of the 1.7.10 version. Never mind. I think I might need some lava to help cure this problem. I don't actually know if lava can hurt that boss. Well, maybe if you got some fire resistance and some lava, your enemy problem could be taken care of. Or if you felt like it may be the try the overlord mod. I've got video on that particular one, but anyway. That sword purple object, it comes from uh, another mod.
Okay, give me a moment. <laughs> okay, they don't like lava. Good to know. I, what? How did that one get left? But, oh. mm. Okay, here's the chest. And we get another black hole storage. Oh well. Sorry there ain't much better, but anyway. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Now, I guess that's pretty much the end of it. This, and in the old versions, you would just simply get the next tier after that. And that would be it. Well, it was nice seeing y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Goodbye.